guys, so today, sorry my purse is falling, but today I have a haul. I am going to show you all just a bunch of random stuff. It's pretty much a collective haul, just things that I've bought um, over the past couple of weeks. Just like in this last week or two. So this is number one. Sorry, my computer's turning off. This is this really cool fan with this awesome print on it that my parents brought me back. They went to San Francisco while we were on a retreat. So they went to San Francisco and they decided to buy me and, both me and my sister these awesome phones. So yeah, that's what it looks like. It's just made out of wood. Um, anyways, I'm keeping this in my purse because sometimes my grandma's air conditioner doesn't work. So it's always nice to have something, you know, just in case, you know, if you're at a park and it's hot, you know, you could always just fan yourself with a fan. And then I bought these really cute headphones from Ross, I believe. Um, they're hot pink, they have a bow, and they have like the little Barbie silhouette. That's what they look like, pretty much. And I bought this. Um, it's the Bedhead Superstar. Superstar. Queen for a Day Thickening Spray. So I haven't tried that out, but... It was only $11.99. If you guys don't know, I go through sunglasses, like, I don't know. But no matter what I do, somehow my glasses will end up breaking on me. Um, like, somehow, like always. I think it's because I never had a case for them. So now whenever I throw them into my purse, instead of just throwing them in there and them being, like, all up in everywhere, um, I put them in the case and then I could, of course, it like, it's not going to get scratched because it has this hard case. But my old wallet, it had a little push button on the top. So if it pushed anywhere, like, around my purse, it would open and all the change would come loose all over my purse. So I decided to get a little cute, like, coin purse. I've got this one because it matched my purse. That I'm using right now, which is a pretty dumb idea because most of the time I'm not using a purse that's that color. Most of the time it's like a black purse. So I think I'm going to go back to Ross and find an, an, another coin purse. Um, I saw one last night that had a bow on it and was really cute, but that's that. Um, also, I bought this really cute wallet. And I like it because it just squishes. Like, I don't know if that's bad, but it's just, it's so tiny. That I can fit a lot of money in it. Not that I have a lot of money, but I can fit stuff in it. Like my ID, my driver's license. Why did I say ID and I driver's license? Just my driver's license, credit cards, and stuff like that. So, And I like it because it has this little, little sticky thingy on here. And then... My driver's license is on this side, but I'm not going to show it to you guys. Not because I don't want you guys to see it, but because it's a really embarrassing picture. These little a feather and tassels and this little handle and then like a little purse thingy. It's really cute. I don't know. Yeah, go figure. And then it has a really cool zipper right here. And that's pretty much where I leave my money. I have something else in there. Oh, yeah. I just have money and then a bunch of my like school IDs from like previous years. So it's really cute. And then the inside of it is like this peachy pink color. And then the color of the wallet is like the color of my walls. Another thing I like about it is that it has these little magnets right here. Like it has one here and then it has another one down here. So it'll automatically like close itself, which I think that is amazing. And then it comes with a little strap. And I know I've needed this a lot because sometimes I have to go pick up my sister. So, if I don't want to take my whole bag, I'll just grab this, and, you know, it has this extra pocket out here, so I could just throw my phone in there really easy, along with my iPod, um, which I think is amazing. And then, it also has an extra strap in case you can, like, turn it into, like, a little clutch purse kind of thing. I don't know, I just thought this was a really good bargain for, like, $11. So, that was what that looks like and it was only $11 too like I was surprised because it comes with like all these pockets and I don't know next thing that a girl can never live without is bobby pins um we seem to go 
we run out of bobby pins like very fast in this house is i needed a small little color that was the color that i needed for my eyebrows this one by revlon the revlon color stay moonlight claire de lune palette number this has the perfect color and it's this color right there out of all the four colors only the two bottom ones are matte and this is a color used for my eyebrows and i absolutely love it I'm not sure if you guys can see the color but yeah that's what it looks like but then i saw this one it's called tasmanian devil i don't know if you guys can see how epically amazing this is and then i also bought pu this pure ice in bikini in the color bikini it's just like a really soft sky blue it's actually softer than the sky thinking about it okay so more like a whitish kind of with like a hint of blue like it's really cute and then I bought this one. It's Pure Ice in Bedtime. At Walmart they were having a sale for all these nail polishes. Like it was a box full of these nail polishes. It's called Salon Perfect. And I got this color because I was trying to find... I don't remember who had like a yellow nail polish. Like it was almost neon. Like I really liked it. So I tried to find something the closest I could to it and this is what I found. It's called Lemon Zing and it's really bright like I said. So that's that nail polish. Okay so every time I go to Walmart they never ever have this. Every time I go to Target they never have the blackest black. They have every other color but the blackest black or just the plain black. So we went like at 11 at night to, it was like 10 I think. We were still at Target at like around 10 o'clock and they had this and I bought it. So that's the eyeliner. Just got this crazy glitter mascara. It's just, what color is this? It's in Spellbound. And it's really cool because it has the silver and then like the dark gray almost glitters. And the next, I got this Bon Bell. I don't know if you say it Bon. It's either Bonnie Bell or Bon Bell looks like that it's an eyeshadow stick and I got this color because I always wanted something like um, next is milk I like um eyeshadow thing and I really like this one because the finish to it is like shimmery so I think this is perfect for like it literally all I do is I just do like a line and then you just blend it out and then you have like instant glitter and it turns transparent. So now my hand looks really glittery. I'm not sure if it's picking up the glitter. But anyways, I'm not going to be using this like... I'm only going to use this maybe for like Halloween or something. It looks like that. It's almost a nude color. And when I bought it, I thought it was going to be like a lipstick. But it wasn't because I didn't read it. It's a lip blush. And I really like it. It turns them almost like a bubblegum-ish kind of nude pink without looking making me look washed out and then over top of it I've been adding this also by Bonnie Bell or Bon Bell um it's a lip it's lip luscious in the color grapefruit now, you know how some lip glosses are really like sticky or some of them will be like not sticky enough and they'll just be all runny I feel like this is the perfect consistency. It will last a very long time on your lips, but it's not sticky. You leave it on for a while, like I can feel it right now. You almost start feeling like a, a minty sensation on your lips. Like it kind of feels cool and then it starts kind of like tingling. I don't know, I kind of like that. But I really like this one. And then I also got it in the color Berry Pout. And it's this really dark... Um, it lo looks kind of red on camera, but it's kind of like a burgundy, like a really dark burgundy. But, the color of this lip gloss is, like, kind of there. You can't, it's not going to look just like it does in the bottle. But it still gives color to your lips, which is what I like about these lip glosses. I went and gone ahead and purchased, this is just a lip light in the color Clear. It's pretty much just the same thing except for it has no color. Um, I don't know if this has the same like minty tingling sensation as the lip blushes do, but I hope it does. If not, I think I did see a lip blushes in clear, so I might just go back and pick that up. 
And then I got this. It's the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Stain in the color Bitten Berry. Now, I thought it was going to look like this, but it looks nothing close to this. It looks exactly like the other one I have. Like, it's ridiculous. Okay, so, bye guys! Then, I don't know if you guys saw my old purse. Not my purse, my old wallet. I did not buy that. And then the last thing I got... These are just really random. I bought an eyeliner. It's the Blackest Black um, Maybelline Eye Studio Eye... Um, I don't know. Cream liner? Some kind of liner. It looks like this. Um, because every time I go to Walmart... <gasps> all over my white pants. Which, I don't know. I will apply some on so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I don't... I can't really see the glitter. There went my hair. Anyways, these little elastics keep snapping on me. Um, it's like really glittery, and the color it'll absolutely fade away, and all you see is just like the plain glitter, which I think is awesome because you want to have like that little Edward Cullen look. That's what you should get. So, anyways, that's what it looks like, and I really, really like it. I really like it. What color is this?